that should bring us to some news, shouldn't it, Jake? It absolutely should. Um, so we have the announcement of the next OTS without even having received what is the next OTS. But the one card they've announced already better than anything we've had in the past three OTSs. Oh, boy, it's, excuse me. It's Ghost Reaper and Winter Cherries. It is not better. They gave us a hand trap and it's ultimately that nobody uses. That's fine. There'll be formats where you want it. Sure. That's he your said only... sure. He agreed. He agreed. He agreed. I agreed there will be formats that you want to use it. I didn't agree yeah. that it deserves an ulti slot. We're also going to be in Splat format. What? Was that a big sign against Splat? It was at first. Until Tier Elements got at like first. slightly better. Until people figured that deck out. Yeah, it was a card you cited. For Gigantic Splat. There were two Tier Element decks that just had a Gigantic Splat in their, in their extra. I they... still do not believe that this is an extra deck slot. Uh, like, sorry, a ulti slot that is justified. Like, if, if you were complaining totally about, like, Albaz and Ecclesia and yep. Zeus and fucking Fusion Destiny yep. as ulti slots, yep. when only some decks were using it, it wasn't, like, it already had a printing that people could use. Yes. What's the difference here? Well, printing for Ghost Ogre, uh, Ghost Reaper, long time ago. It's been a while since we have a Ghost Reaper reprint. Like, that is a bullshit justification. No, Ulti is not no, the no, reprint no. people I'm, need. I'm not implying that it's the reprint that we need. I'm saying it's been a while, so it's not like we got the card last fucking week and then they're giving us no Ulti. Like, for example, Albaz. Had, had... Albaz has been out for a year and a half. Ecclesia as well. These are cards that... Also a year and a half. Came have, from the same set. Have been floating around, being played, and they're like, Ulti. Also, one of those OTS packs came out six months ago. Yeah. At least. Anyway, yeah. So, card. Yeah, versatile. You can just card a side it in any format. That's what I think ulti should be, is just the generic side cards that you can just put in anything, anytime you need to. Whenever shit hits the fan, you can be like, yep, in you go. Like, I have, like, ulti twin twisters. Twin twisters is not good in most formats, but it's a good ulti to have because you can just put it into your deck. I don't like archetypal ultis that will get hit on a ban list. I can't... S or of, the, of the stuff that's around them will get hit. It's the reason why Brilliant Fusion is effectively... It should be a worthless ulti. It's been bought out because people think it's going to come off the ban list with the new Gem Knight stuff, but that's I forgot awesome. about the new Gem Knight stuff. <gasps> uh, yeah, but it's situations like that where the engine around it gets hit so the ulti becomes worthless... I don't like seeing that because long term it's bad for the value of the sets. Conversely, I don't think that like the like because you were saying before when we we're talking about those other ultis that part of it is that some people like to play those cards, sure, but realistically, it's people that want to pull those cards to then sell them. I don't think you'd get that value from Ghost Reaper. Initially, sure, That's there fine. might be some people that want like pay big money for it, but long term, I can't see that card being huge amounts of money because it is a super situational format driven side card that is only relevant when something becomes like effectively t zero that also comes down to like whatever an ots's policy is regarding like ultimate rares and prizing distribution because like yeah or i got i need to get an ultimate rare to get money back to make value for this game is relevant in a situation where your ots support isn't that great and, like, it's not Konami's fault if they print an ulti that you can't go and sell on the secondary market for $300. Like, that's not their problem. Their problem is, did we print ultis that you need? Kind of? Okay, here you go. Anyway, I don't think it's a good ulti. Feel free to comment below or I think it's in a good our ulti. Discord uh, what you believe. I'd uh, still much prefer other ultis. But I think this is a good ulti because it's versatile. Look, yeah. you can play it in anything. It's fine. It's, that's a good ulti. If it's 40 bucks, you'll catch me paying, buying three. No questions asked. I'm oh, buying if it's 40 three. bucks, I'll buy multiple. That way, if we do get to a T0 format, sell, sell, sell. There you go. <laughs> yeah, I have ultis. Uh, moving on to other news, we have uh, a new archetype has been announced uh, following on from Branded. 
Uh, checking my browser for one. Sorry. A random thing has just come up and I've never seen it before in my life. Here we go. Uh, the... Jake's just got his phone hacked on YG organization. <laughs> Look, wouldn't surprise me. Um, we have the Bisted theme. Uh, so these are a bunch of effectively chaos dragons. Um, so all sort of linked loosely to Albaz. Uh, they do some stuff with their own branded spell trap, but you can integrate them in uh, to uh, like branded Despia kind of thing. Uh, uh, really good with chaos space, funnily enough. I'm kind of just sick of getting Albaz lore support. It. The way that I feel about Albaz support is that Konami's turned around and they've gone, Yu-Gi-Oh! Sevens is not a good anime. We can't really make any new cards based on it. Well, yeah, what this, we this just is the supported thing. supported the one fucking lore line for the next two years? Well, this is the thing, right? They used to have the anime to draw off. They used exactly. to be able to go, these are your anime cards, and then there's this pool over here, which is the current lore run. Yeah. They don't have that anymore. Well, they do, but like it's a completely different game, so yeah. they can't just be like, "Yeah, here's your anime shit." Some of it's good, some of it's <clears throat> like it, it's just so bland, is it? Like it's just been so long. Like at first, the Albaz Law stuff was great. Like, what pretty much what came after Spriggans? Uh, was that after when we got Spriggans the branded stuff? Was uh, Tribegate, wasn't it? No, that was. I know oh, Tribegate, Spriggans, and then uh, Despia. Yeah. Like, at that point, I'm like, yeah, sweet. We're going fine. But, like, continuing it, like, find something new. It's been good for, the, like, the concept of lore on cards as a whole. It's, it's just too much. But here's the thing. They have started a different lore. But it's but for whatever reason, lore this... within the lore. No, it isn't. Like, these new cards? No, no, no. These cards are still oh, Albaz okay. lore, but they have started a new lore. The um, Visa Star Frost. That's something completely different. Now that also just kind of sucks, though. <laughs> Tier element. Oh, that's a part of that. Yeah. Oh, okay. What's Splatter Puddle? Uh, it's Albaz Law. Yep. I know. <laughs> yeah. Because it's on fucking kit. Uh, yeah. I hate Albaz. They just need to come up with something new. Um. Anyway, before give us a new anime, man. Fuck seven. They. Okay. So here's the thing. Like. It doesn't address your problem, but I wanted them to do like a arcane um, type series on the Yu-Gi-Oh lore for the longest time. That seems like it, this is what they're setting up with the Albaz stuff, but like they've got another fucking anime coming out. Wait, they've got another one? No, like they've got Sevens coming out instead. It seems like Ugh. they should have just not done Sevens and done that kind of thing. It just did a weekly lore based show. Surely they could do that as well. Sure. Or like have like a world within a world. I don't know, come up come up with a reason. Like they've it. made a World of Warcraft movie, which as far as I'm aware was dog shit. They've made Arcane, which was like highly regarded as a great series, and I'm actually looking forward if they do a second. I don't know how they would I do just a second. Kinda of don't care about that show. Look, I don't I couldn't give a shit about the the thing that it came from. Yeah, that's probably the reason why I just don't give a shit about it. Right but that's now. the thing, I don't. I didn't care about where it came from, but it just looked like a decent series. I watched it, eventually. Granted, I fell asleep three times while trying to watch it. Uh, but that was unrelated, I just watched it four I times. <laughs> um, anyway, to swing back to this, um, yeah, Banish Your Dragons, they set the spells and traps from deck. The spells and traps are actually really good. Uh, when a card's banished, you can put it back into the deck and draw one. Uh, that's either player. Uh, so against Flundery, you can start putting their shit back. Put a card from Banish back? Yeah. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, just put back the, the Rubina. Put back Eaglin. Eaglin. Well, assuming you go Field Spell, Reveal, oh, yeah. Rubina, which is the general line. Yeah. Um, And then their trap as well is like, um, if you control the Bisted Monster, Tribute a Dragon, target uh, something and destroy it, and then during the end phase, uh, target... Uh, if, they've, if you've got one, one of the continuous spells in the grave and uh, put it back on the board. It does some things. I kind of like it. I like the fact that it's like dragon support that's semi-generic and also like you can splash it into your I, branded... I just don't want to see more branded support. <laughs> okay. Alright. Just... Ben, ben has had enough of the branded support. My, my brain. We, we will... Konami, please. It's alright. We will move on. Just come up with something else. At least... 
I'm, I'm now going to say it, and it's going to be wrong. There's not fucking splite stuff that says summon Albaz from deck. No, because the splite stuff is like when um, Kit and the other Spriggans and stuff um, went off to another world. That's where they started fighting the Therion. Because Therion is technically Albaz lore, but it's like a spin off series. So much. Like, no, remember when they used to do lore blocks on a year? And they'd do like a year of lore, and then they'd change it? Look, I'm getting yeah. way too engaged in Yu-Gi-Oh! lore. I'm not normally big on Yu-Gi-Oh! lore. I'm just sick of just getting the same stuff. Look, it's fine. It's fine. Look, we'll, mo it, we'll, move, on from, we'll move on from the Bistic, because I know it's upsetting you. It's okay? upsetting me a lot. Uh, we move on. To a new Ecclesia! <laughs> I thought that was an Abyssin card. I thought no. that was included. No, no, it, no, it isn't. Uh, so uh, this one super similar to the last Ecclesia that we got. Um, if you have Albaz on Field of Grave, special summons itself. Um, but this one's like a quick poly on turn, um, off turn. So during the main phase, fusion summon, and then like the other Ecclesia, if there's a fusion in the graveyard during the end phase, she bounces back to hand. The weird thing that I've found, and it's happened three times now, is they keep giving Albaz tuners. Ecclesia, the first, the second Ecclesia, the, um, the whatever it was, the Virtuous. Um, I understood why she was a tuner, because she did things for Sword Soul. I get that. They're, oh, that one. I yeah. Get, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Uh, I think it, I think she's still called Ecclesia the Virtuous. She's just not Dogmatica. Okay. Um, I think she's like amazing Ecclesia or some bullshit like that. Anyway, I should um, sell mine. I just have them sitting on my desk. They've been on my desk since I stopped playing Sword Soul six months ago. Well, I had one and was planning to buy a heap because I was like, oh, this would come up in um, Branded. Hasn't. No. Oh. That's the reason I kept it. <laughs> Hasn't. Well, and they're still it. worth money. They're like 60 bucks each or something. I should sell it tomorrow. Yes. Available for purchase from Nolan TCG. Um, circling back to my point. So that one I understand because it's to do with Sword Soul. Yeah. Then they gave them another tuner in the structure deck. Which I've not read. Um, it's it's technically it, yeah. I don't know what it does, um, but it's also a, a level four spellcaster tuner. And now this one's a tuner that does a fusion summon effect. Is Alvaz getting a synchro? Uh, eventually, they'll get a synchro, and it'll say during the end phase, I uh, this card was sent to the graveyard. Special summon Alvaz or a Salt Soul from deck. I don't understand it. I'm impressed. Now that I've come up with that card, I'm impressed that doesn't exist already. I was surprised it doesn't exist either. Yeah, I that... thought there would have been a random Sword Soul um, thing, because they've done that with literally every other archetype. Yep. We just get Sword Soul Albaz the Victorious. <laughs> and he's <laughs> he has an effect that lets you slap your opponent in the face. And then in phase, if he goes to Graveyard, you special summon Albaz. <laughs> Her mother was a hamster. <laughs> <laughs> opponent calls judge it's like judge it says it on the card he's like yep and then the judge also slaps your opponent <laughs> he's like sorry i just want to check that it resolved properly <laughs> <laughs> oh sorry i declared the slap <laughs> <laughs> all right now we will actually move on from okay. Alvaz law uh we have some fur hire support it's actually not bad have you i've i've read it i appreciate it but it doesn't get around the fact that first time, for higher stuff says negate. Do not destroy him. Yeah, true. It doesn't actually negate anything. Yeah. Which is actually, like, kind of annoying because their link three gets pluses if something's destroyed. Yeah. Like, it's it's also just kind of weak. So, like, <laughs> yeah, if you negate something, it's like, oh, cool. It didn't get destroyed. It just attacked over me. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, look, it, problem. Gives, it gives them the ability to set up a, a more like consistent turn one board that's yeah. that's the main thing about it yeah th these cards really good for fur hire consistency just not that good like fur hire it doesn't fix fur hire's problem like i i really enjoyed playing fur hire when it came out and it's just doesn't stop your opponent like it interacts with your opponent but it doesn't stop your opponent. It's really the kindest of the decks that are out there. Yeah. It says no, but it doesn't say no. It's like, no. <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> Please don't do that. Please no. And then your opponent's like, no, I attack. Boop. <laughs> <laughs> the, yeah, look, I appreciate the fact that they're giving some older yeah. decks some support. That's always I, nice. I also appreciate it. However, just 
give them... I, I guess you. it's tough to make for higher busted because you can't go back and arrive those cards and you can't just turn around and be like, well, they should just print the same cards but better, like I'm doing right now. But, <laughs> yeah. They need either a counter trap that does something that's really easily searchable or... But I don't really want them to get that, though. And it's not because they don't deserve it, sure, give them something. But I feel like a counter trap is, like, always their go-to response when a deck just needs something. Realistically, that Link 2 should have searched, like, a Salamine Great Roar. Well, they're... The starter one searches a spell and trap. Like, beat? No, 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 the new one. They've got the Link 2 and they've got the little Dino Dude. Oh, okay. Well, little dino dude should search a trap card. The trap card should say, destroy one card in the field for each for the higher you control. Oh, that'd be busted. Well, yeah. You need something to make that deck busted. No, I think I that should be the support they get. Use my ideas, Konami. <laughs> and then pay us for it. Um, uh, you don't have to pay me to send me product. <laughs> that, that would be also nice. Yeah. Um, and then finally, we have a V-Jump promo that has been announced. Can't wait to get V-Jump promos. Uh, you never know. They've been decent at releasing them in like a timely manner. But they just kind of sneak them. They don't make a big deal about it. And you're like, oh shit, that released? Well, okay. Yeah. Look, for the most part, they've been very blah, that like kind of shit. Uh, ever, ever since they better... stopped giving them to America first, they've yeah. been terrible. It's kind of good that they don't just give them to America first, though. I appreciate that we get it at the same time. But at the same time, make them better. <laughs> Yeah, like, there needs to be a happy medium of, like, we can both have it and it can both just be okay. I swear there's also just still a bunch of those cards we don't have. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Um, but the new Watch one, the, the new one that has been announced is Green Ninja. Green Ninja? Green Ninja. Green Ninja? Green Ninja. We don't want to get sued. No. Yes. I'm surprised I haven't, like, capitalised the E's. <laughs> Green! <laughs> Green! Uh, level 2 wind um, it's basically flip monster support um, I can't remember what ninjas do if they flip summon or not but if they do it's helpful um, so yeah it's um, does it search a ninja card? Uh, no oh. <laughs> what it does uh, basically if a monster is special summoned uh, target uh, one of them and special summon it and flip that monster face down um, it's Oh, to your field. So, yeah, it's not a hand trap to, like, foolish... I mean, Book of Moon, your opponent, which would actually be really good if it did that. Fun. However, um, and if it's sent from the hand or field to the graveyard, uh, target monster on your field and flip it to face up, attack, or defense. Okay. So, like... Does it not work in penguins? And can you not... It could work in penguins. Can I you don't... Link penguin ninja and this card into Hanzo Link 2 potentially that'd be funny potentially if the Great Ninja Link 2 requires two ninja monsters and you go oh this my god, and does Penguin it? Ninja oh my god oh my god Penguin Ninja deck oh please <laughs> that'd be funny I need to find out now where's the link but what's we, it called again uh, I think it's like Gren I don't know it's Hanzo maybe I don't, I'm just making up names that are in that archetype there is a ninja Grandmaster link. something? Here it is. Uh, two ninja monsters. <laughs> you can make it some penguin. Penguin ninja! Lachlan, get onto it. N penguin ninja and green ninja. No, not that. Sorry, green ninja. <laughs> we don't want to get sued. <laughs> um, yeah, look, that's... Other than our brilliant idea of mixing uh, the two amazing archetypes of penguins and ninjas together... Uh, not a great deal of application for it, but you know what? It's flip decks. They need all the help they can get. Ninja's never been better. Hey guys, it's Jake here from Cowboy for Game. Thank you so much for watching. If you've liked what you've seen today, check out the description below. You'll find a link to subscribe to our channel where you'll find a heap more content. More content? More content. So much more content. Like what? So much more podcasts, deck lists, uh, and highlight clips like you've seen today. Subscribe.